This video is for educational and digital forensics purposes only. All tools discussed are intended for lawful research, forensic analysis, and ethical education. Let's get started. First up is LockKnife, a tool for analyzing Android lock screen mechanisms. LockKnife examines files that store lock credentials, like the lock settings database. It reveals what kind of lock was set, pin, password, or pattern. On modern Android devices, this data is encrypted, so LockKnife is mainly useful for older or research devices. LockKnife is designed for precise, lawful analysis of Android lock data. Meet Android Pin Brute Force, a script that brute forces old, vulnerable Android lock screens. On early Android versions, there were few limits on pin attempts, making brute forcing possible. The script tries every possible pin combination. On modern phones, security improvements stop this tool quickly. It works on old devices, but not on new ones. Now let's talk about Android Cracker, the vintage locksmith. This tool focuses on early Android's pattern lock, where the gesture key file was poorly protected. Android Cracker takes a legally obtained gesture key file and tries all possible patterns to find the original. With only 389,112 possible patterns, a modern computer can crack it in seconds. The lesson? Security through obscurity isn't enough. This tool pushed developers to add salting, secure storage, and hardware-backed protection. Today, it's a case study in how vulnerabilities drive progress. For students, it's about understanding why modern phones are so much harder to crack. Studying these old flaws deepens appreciation for today's robust security. It's like examining an old lock to see why new ones are better. The evolution of mobile security is written in these tools. Switching to Apple, Meet iOS Restriction Brute Force, the Archivist Cracker. This tool targets old, unencrypted iTunes backups to recover the restriction's screen time passcode. If a backup wasn't encrypted, the four-digit pin hash was easy to access and brute force. The key lesson, always encrypt your backups. Unencrypted backups were the weak link, making strong device security irrelevant. Apple responded by pushing encrypted backups, rendering this tool obsolete for modern devices. It's a reminder that your security is only as strong as your weakest link. For users, always check that encryption box. For professionals, consider the entire data lifecycle, not just the device. This tool is a historical warning about backup security. Secure your data wherever it goes. Next is FAPL, the backup locksmith for iTunes backups. FAPL demonstrates how tough it is to recover the main password protecting and encrypted backup. It tries passwords from a word list, showing the difference between weak and strong choices. Brute forcing a complex password is virtually impossible. A simple one falls instantly. FAPL is a teaching tool. Password strength matters. Apple's use of slow key derivation functions makes attacks expensive and time-consuming. Forensic analysts might use targeted word lists, but strong passwords win every time. The takeaway, your backup is only as secure as your password. Use a password manager and choose long, random passwords. FAPL isn't about breaking encryption, it's about appreciating it. Strong encryption, used correctly, is nearly unbreakable. Back to Android for Phonesploit, the cautionary exhibit. Phonesploit ex exploits unsecured Android debug bridge ADB connections left open on networks. ADB is a powerful tool for developers, but if left open over Wi-Fi, anyone on the network can access your device. Phonesploit scans for open ADB ports and automates access, showing how dangerous misconfiguration can be. The lesson, never leave ADB enabled over the network, especially on public Wi-Fi. Modern Android requires authorization for new ADB connections, but open ports are still a risk. For users, keep developer options and debugging off unless needed. For professionals, always check for open ports and unnecessary services. This tool is a vivid warning. Secure your devices, don't leave doors open. Avila Forensics is the practical investigator's toolkit. It's designed for lawful data collection and analysis after legal access is granted. The first step, create a forensic image, a perfect copy of the device's storage. Avila Forensics ensures the copy is sound and untampered using hash values for verification. It parses complex data, messages, call logs, browser history without altering evidence. Its read-only design preserves integrity crucial for legal proceedings. It converts data into standardized formats for reporting and further analysis. Avila Forensics is about meticulous, reliable investigation, the backbone of digital forensics. OpenMF, 
the OpenLab Toolkit brings open source power to mobile forensics. Unlike expensive, closed commercial tools, OpenMF is free and transparent. Anyone can inspect, audit, or contribute to its code, building trust and accountability. It's modular, with plugins for analyzing different data types, SMS, call logs, location data, and more. OpenMF is invaluable for students and researchers, offering hands-on experience without high costs. It enables rapid adaptation to new apps and OS versions through community contributions. The project champions transparency and accessibility in forensic science. OpenMF is a toolkit for learning, verifying, and ensuring forensic methods stand up to scrutiny. Number nine is a category, the evidence librarians, tools like Andriller. These tools act as master keys for reading the vast library of data formats on mobile devices. Andriller scans file systems or forensic images, extracting information from call logs, messages, browser history, and dozens of apps. Every app stores data differently, so these tools are constantly updated to keep up. They save analysts countless hours by decoding and translating raw data into readable reports. Think of them as translators, making complex data accessible and understandable. They enable quick overviews, timeline building, and cross-app analysis. Evidence librarians are essential for efficient, thorough investigations. They're the quiet workhorses of the digital forensics lab. Finally, the Mobile Verification Toolkit, MVT, the field medic. Developed by Amnesty International, MVT helps journalists and activists detect sophisticated spyware on their phones. It scans device backups for indicators of compromise, digital fingerprints left by spyware. MVT is especially known for detecting threats like Pegasus, analyzing browsing history, app manifests, and backup files for signs of infection. It's a defensive tool empowering vulnerable users to check their own devices. The process is technical, but well-documented and used worldwide to confirm attacks. MVT represents the defensive side of cybersecurity, detecting and neutralizing threats. For every offensive tool, defenders build tools like MVT to protect and empower. It's a critical piece of digital self-defense. Here are 10 essential tools for mobile security and forensics. Keep your device locked, backups encrypted, and debugging disabled unless needed. Knowing and using these tools is the first step to better mobile security.